Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we are working on this white line right here. And as you can see, there are marks all up and down that. The only question is, where's the problem at? One thing's for certain, this is packed full of tiny little rocks. My guess is going to be right underneath this. My suspicion was correct, and you'll soon see that was not the last of those rocks. Throughout this video, you'll hear the occasional cow mooing in the background. That's not this cow. This barn has about 450 cows in it. And honestly, I'm wearing my headphones, so I rarely ever hear anything. Listening back to this, I'm actually surprised at how quiet it actually is. Here we can see where that perforation is right in that white line. You look inside here a little bit and see that separation doesn't go all the way across that sole. It's going to be limited to this area around the white line. You'll notice as I'm working here, there's lots of little tiny stones tucked up underneath there. And every time I see that, I always picture that or, or try to feel what that would be like in my own shoe. If I had a little tiny rock in there and always stepping on that, that's kind of the way I look at this. I don't know if it feels like that to the cow, but that's always what pops into my head. This one is quite fresh, so those margins around that area of separation aren't as clearly defined as they would be if this was older. But we still gotta work our way along this edge as carefully as we can and try to remove that. You'll really be able to get an idea of how soft and delicate that underlying sole is when I test it with my finger here. 
really soft. So that's the area we don't ever want them to be walking on, which is why we apply the block to the other claw oftentimes. We don't want that pressure on that because obviously this cow weighs anywhere from 1,200 pounds all, and they can range all the way up to about 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. So obviously we don't want that type of weight on a claw like that. That's why that block comes in handy when we put it on that other claw. Now I'm applying salicylic acid in this case, not because I think that there's dermatitis there, but I'm using it as a preventative measure. There is dermatitis on this farm, so I don't want that to take hold here. And this salicylic acid is going to help prevent that. Now that we've got that block applied, all we got to do now is give a few head scratches, put that foot down, and let her go. Let's see what that block does here in a minute, providing relief to that other claw until it can harden up. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.